Hey planner babes, it's Amber from Amber Plants Our Day and I just want to come on and share with you guys how I set up my filming setup so that I have a top down view and I'm going to show you guys all the products that I use to successfully film um, plan with me's and any other top down um, setups. So make sure you stay tuned because I'm also picking a giveaway winner. So I've gotten a few questions about um, how I set up my filming and what I'm going to do is uh, this is just an example of what the filming looks like so that you see my planner and um, I'm going to take my camera off my tripod and then show you guys the setup with the tripod, the ring light, all of those things, show you guys what it looks like on my desk and then kind of get to the products and how I actually logistically do it. But first, let's do our giveaway winner. I did a random YouTube comment picker um, on my phone, and this is who won Create Happy 365. And it says, I'm thankful for the planner community and their kindness and generosity. And thank you for making it international. So my guess is that she's international. Um, so I'm going to reply to her comment on the giveaway video as well as I think she's on Instagram. So I'm going to try to reach out to her there as well. So congratulations for winning um, this sticker book this happy planner disney princess sticker book i'm super excited for you and i cannot wait to see what you do with it because yeah i'm really sad that i could give one away and i need to be doing more of these giveaways they're so much fun i loved reading all of your comments you guys have been amazing like totally totally amazing i just to love reading your comments. There's so many things you guys are grateful for. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this open and you can see how it like lays out right here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my camera off the tripod and then show you guys my setup. So basically I sit in this chair. I got this desk chair from Home Goods. I really do like it, it's super comfortable. Um, and it does go up and down because I'm pretty short, so I need it pretty high up. So then here is my actual um, planner set up still. And then as you can see, I use like washi tape to outline where the shot actually is. So when it's overhead, it could be anywhere to the washi tape and still be in the frame of my camera. And then as you can see, as we back out, we have my tripod and my ring light. So this tripod here, it just has like a hookup to your camera. And um, it came with this like hookup. I'll make sure that the tripod is linked down below. And then this is my ring light. I love, love, love my ring light. This is a 19 inch ring light and it's not sold on Amazon. I got it at Best Buy, but I'm gonna link a second version or option of it that I also have um, that's not set up for filming, but it's that I still use and it, I love it. Ring lights are basically just amazing all around. I love all my ring lights that I have and yeah, it's a super easy setup. And then I'm gonna flip the camera around so that you can see me. Hello, hello, in front of my filming station. As you can see, I have a microphone hooked up right here. And then it's hooked up to my camera as well. So basically, um, that's how my volume gets out. And the camera that I use is a Sony. It is explained in my, it is linked in my Amazon. And then 
Um, I love it so much. It's a mirrorless camera. I don't really actually know much about it. All I know is that mic. My husband grabbed it for me and um, I really, really do like it. So that's kind of how I set up for filming. I'm gonna flip it back around because you do not want to see me. There you go. So super, super easy set up. And then so one of my favorite things about my setup here is that my camera actually has like a screen that um, shows me what is currently on the um, like lens. So whenever I'm filming, sometimes I just gaze up and I'm able to see exactly what is filming in, fr in front of me. Uh, I know whenever I filmed with my phone that was not able to happen and that was a huge huge bummer <laughs> i did not like that that i couldn't see what was in my frame um so that is personally why i love my camera the best because i can sit down and film whereas with my phone i could only stand up so i could i had to look over at the top of my phone and shoot down and it was so hard um but anyway Everything that I use for filming, it's really not actually a ton of equipment, just a ring light and a tripod. You can absolutely use your phone. I know tons of YouTubers who use their phone or their iPad, and I'll link some of those options down as well, because if you don't have a tripod, you can, um, there's tons of options for like a tripod that hooks to your desk and then like it bends over and you're able to see. So I'll, um, link some of those items down as well to the Amazon storefront that I have and then really just a ring light or any other um, light kits like there's bounce lights anything like that is really good and useful for filming and you guys honestly the best place to start is is to just start um, you don't 100% need a ring light, right? You can film in front of a window and you can definitely use your phone. Um, and I just encourage you guys just to start, create content for you. I like to create content that I would use because then maybe it'll inspire someone else to do something similar. Um, but that's kind of how I like to do it. Sometimes I'll do like videos that are requested of me. Um, but there's some videos that like people request and I'm like, I don't, I don't use my planner for that. And I don't think I'd be the best person to make that video because I just don't think that I can inspire people in that way. Um, because it's just, I don't want to fake it. You know, I don't want to fake that I use my planner for an, I, for something that I don't. So that's kind of why I choose to create content that I actually use and that I actually want to be creating. Um, so that's like my number one encouragement is just create content that you would actually use, that you want to see, plan just like you normally do, and kind of figure out what works best for you. And really, like I said, all you absolutely need is like a phone, tripod, or something like that so that you can have your phone overhead. And if you film in front of a window, your light would be fine. And then as you kind of continue to get in the pattern and consistency of actually filming and all those things, then you can, can consider, you know, expanding into the ring light or a tripod or, um, you know, buying a microphone or anything like that because a lot of it is not needed. And then the second thing I do recommend is um, I personally use a MacBook to edit. Um, I use iMovie, but there are other just do some research i know if you have an ipad you can use um, imovie on an ipad and um, there's even other options that if you don't have an iphone or apple products and you have android there's other options you can just google search like video editing apps um, for android or a lot of people you can even do imovie on your iphone if you have an iphone um, and like I said, just Google some Android options. I don't have Android, so I don't know, but it's so simple, so easy. And honestly, I don't do very much editing to my videos at all because I try to film in a way where I just know what I'm doing. So it's just like one easy, simple 
filming process. Um, so yeah, I just encourage you guys to start a YouTube channel and um, just do it for you guys. And if you, if you guys do start a YouTube channel or if you guys already have a YouTube channel, please let me know down below in the comments because I want to support you guys. I want to watch your content and mostly because I don't like um, know a ton of people who have YouTubes. So just like if you guys share with me, if you guys are planning on starting one after this video or you guys already have one, just let me know so that I can um, support you guys. Anyway, thank you so much for following along as I share with you guys my YouTube setup and the giveaway winner, which was Create Happy 365. So happy that I get to send that to you. And um, I hope that you guys all have an amazing week and start planning and dreaming and doing things that are out of your comfort zone because it's totally, totally worth it. I would have had no idea that two years ago when I started this YouTube channel, like I would be this far into the game and just having over 4,000 subscribers. You guys are just truly, truly amazing. So I hope that you will continue to follow along as I plan a happy life and continue to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel.